The accordion, one of the most recognisable instruments in the world. Played by stadium-filling rock acts like The Who and Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band and jobbing buskers on the street. Its diverse range means the centuries-old squeeze box is often used as a one-man band. But making one is an ensemble piece, which takes a team of craftsmen over three months. So, how do they do it? The small hillside town of Castel Fidardo, at first glance indistinguishable from dozens of other sleepy Italian towns. But listen carefully, and there's a difference. Because this is Squeeze Box Central. Known as the world's accordion capital, Castel Fidardo produces 20,000 of them every year. They've been hand making accordions here for 150 years. Today, it still takes over a dozen craftsmen and more than 15,000 parts to make an accordion. So it's no surprise that they can sell for up to $20,000 each. An accordion is made up of three major parts. An expandable bellows in the middle, a treble end with buttons or keys to play the melody, and a set of buttons to play the bass notes and chords. Wood frames for both end units are cut in the workshop. Because of their size and complexity, accordions can be heavy. The solution to this potential pain in the neck is to fashion the frames from poplar, a wood which balances strength and lightness. The pieces then pass to Leonardo Mengini for assembly, where they're glued and checked to the micromillimeter. Such artistry can't be hurried, and it all it takes eight days of painstaking assembly to build both end units. While one craftsman fashions the exterior of the accordion, another focuses on its complex inner workings, starting with the treble end. The first step is to connect each key to a valve. Getting all the keys, connecting rods and valves to fit is a significant challenge. Each rod is meticulously bent and shaped to fit until it's just right. Mauro Pergolesi glues the valves and connecting rods into place. But regular glue could affect the accordion's sound. Mother Nature has the solution. A special mix of beeswax and pine resin holds the valves in place. Next, it's onto the left-hand end and the base unit. Manlio Francinella has been building accordions for over 60 years. His careful assembly is a precise and time-consuming process. Siamo nella prima fase del lavoro della meccanica. Si mette tutti i cadrocetti con la leva dove alza la valvola e prende l'aria. I giusti pistoni si monti i pistoni. Bastanti pistoni alza la valvola di base. Manlio is like a conductor overseeing an orchestra of individual elements. In all, he attaches rods and levers to 120 buttons. Next, the accordion needs its lungs, and that means a trip across town to Galassi, the bellows maker. Bellows are made from a special pre-folded cardboard that's incredibly strong, yet creates little resistance to movement. The cardboard is cut, glued and pressed to form the rectangular cross-section of the bellows, then the decorative internal pattern is added. To work, the bellows must be totally airtight. Any leak and an umpa band could have no oomph. The solution is to glue the corners with stainless steel clips, which are heated to strengthen the bond. Next, they get a squeezing even the heaviest-handed busker couldn't dish out spending two hours in a hydraulic press to ensure the perfect concertina. The final piece of the instrument is its voice, the reed block. Each reed is a thin strip of highly tempered watch spring steel. It's carefully glued into place with more beeswax and resin. When a key is pressed, the valve opens and air flows through a slot, causing the reed to vibrate and produce sound. The trouble is, once the finished accordion is assembled, that sound is still some way from perfect pitch. Mm. 
Many notes are out of tune, and the solution lies in a rare flash of modern technology, this electronic tuning scope. In this way, the intonation of the voice is not correct. That's not good. Making it good is a long and drawn out process, as the reed block must be removed each time to finely tune every individual note. In this way, it is cut. This other one, we cut. In this way, as you can see, the screen is fixed. The intonation of the voice is now done. È perfetta. Possiamo andare avanti con un'altra voce. But technology is just a supporting act in this workshop, and following its brush with the electronic tuner, the accordion needs the ear of a traditional artist. Poi, logicamente, è finita l'accordatura e si rifà di nuovo a orecchio per correggere le piccolezze. The ear in question belongs to managing director and renowned accordion player Mirko Paterini. Mirko really knows how to push an accordion's buttons. Once he's put it through its paces and tuned it to perfection, the handcrafted instrument is finally finished ready perhaps to squeeze into Castel Fidardo's next Grand Accordion Festival.